Thanks for checking out my channel. My name is Anna Piffney. I'm a tattoo artist who is self-converting a 98 GMC Bluebird with a Caterpillar turbo engine. Her name is Astral. She is 32 feet long, 26 feet of living space on the inside. And I'm going to start this vlog series off with the deconstruction of the bus. So let's just get into it. All right, I'm taking the ceiling panels out today. So I'm just using a cheap uh, air hammer from Harbor Freight. It's the Central Pneumatic. It was like $15 deals. And then I got some of the uh, air chisels. So this one I'm using to actually punch out the middle part of the rivet. And then I'm going to go in with a flat bit to take the head off. Of. These random dance moves that you'll see me do, by the way, uh, not only were they just sort of, you know, hey, but uh, it actually helped with my arms because the taking all the rivets and the ceiling panels off is, oh, it's just the vibration of that air hammer is just like jarring the entire time. So your arms end up just killing you, killing you. So. Yeah, if you end up doing this, make sure you take breaks every once in a while to just shake that loose. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking the rivets out here, and I thought the air compressor that I was using, because it was a little older, was going bad, and it just wasn't getting enough pressure up, so I could only take out maybe three to four rivets at a time and then it would be a 35 45 minute wait while it regained the amount of pressure that it needed and i really thought it was just the air compressor so eventually i ended up going and buying a new air compressor and it turned out that it wasn't the air compressor at all it was the fact that i had two extension cords going to it so it wasn't getting enough power so yeah this part, taking out the rivets, took probably like four or five days when I should have been able to get it done in maybe two full days. So, yeah. So right here, um, you see me scraping up all the rubber floor. If you go to do this, buy one of those floor scrapers. It is 100% worth it. That thing made it so much easier. I saw a lot of people doing it with like crowbars and stuff like that, and I was like, that looks horrendous. Thank goodness, good and bad, I didn't have any plywood underneath of the rubber flooring, so that made it even easier. I do feel bad for the people that had the plywood that they also had to pry up. Now that you pretty much got to use um, the crowbars for. But I lucked out and I was able to just use this floor scraper and it was a lifesaver.
36 grit uh, flat disc and we are going to uh, see if we can get all this uh, rust sand off. Just sitting so proper. Look at this little Okay, so the very last clip that you just saw, that uh, copper, that was all a rust -oleum that I put on the floor afterwards. So, good news there. That means in the next video that I'm gonna be putting out, you're gonna actually see the subfloor starting to be putting in and some furring strips. So, thanks so much for watching. I super appreciate it. If you don't mind, please hit the subscribe button and that bell, and then uh, I will see you probably on Wednesday. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get us caught up on these videos to, to the point that I'm at now so we can do more of a recent vlog series. But yeah, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you Wednesday. <laughs>